an intimate look at a bronze statue of Emmanuel Fermier's Gorilla and Woman, installed in Allerton Park and Retreat Center, University of Illinois, Monticello, Illinois, October 2017. We have published an article on Grung, the Armenian News Network, entitled An Introduction and Some Background to Our Video, entitled An Intimate Look at a Bronze Statue of Emmanuel Fermier's Gorilla and Woman, installed in Allerton Park and Retreat Center, University of Illinois, Monticello, Illinois, appreciating more fully a marketing strategy used for the film Ravished Armenia. Our interest in Fermier's bronze statue of a gorilla carrying off a woman stemmed from its use in advertising a very graphic film entitled Ravished Armenia, which revealed the horrors of the Armenian genocide committed by Turkey during World War I. The use of imagery to characterize the gorilla as a brutal animal is old and quite undeserved. The following are just a few of the early images adopted to show the supposed brutal personality of the gorilla. There are quite a few antecedents in which this incorrect theme is used. Ultimately, the supposed horrendous nature of the gorilla was transferred to humans who actually deserve the negative connotations. One of our first stops during our 2017 trip driving across the United States was to the Cranert Art Museum on the campus of the University of Illinois at Champaign in hopes of seeing Fermier's statue of the gorilla. As it turned out, the statue had been removed from the Cranert Art Museum in Kincaid Pavilion in 2016 and returned to the Orange Trail at Allerton Park one year prior to our visit in October of 2017. While at the museum and pavilion, we were very impressed by a magnificent sculpture entitled The Blind by Laredo Taft. Before continuing to Allerton Park to see the gorilla, we feel it is well worth showing in silence our complete video footage of the blind. We are now at the display area in Allerton Park. While briefly showing the displays related to Fermier's sculptures, I will read parts of a report from the Pratt County Gazette Republican, October 25, 2016, entitled Statues Returned to Allerton Trail by Steve Hoffman. A pair of old friends await hikers in Allerton Park for the first time in 30 years 
as the iconic gorilla and bear statues have returned to the trail that connects the main parking lot with the Foo Dog Garden. The large 1880s era bronze cast by French sculptor Emmanuel Fremier were not original to the park, which was donated by the Allerton family to the University of Illinois in 1946. The statues instead were part of a University of Illinois purchase of the Laredo Taft Studio in 1937. Mistakenly included as part of the purchase, negotiations led to them being donated to the university in 1959, then installed on what is now the Orange Trail at Allerton Park. That is where they sat, mounted only on the dirt beneath them until the 1980s when they were taken to the Cranert Art Museum and eventually placed on display in the Kincaid Pavilion. They haven't been on the Monticello Area Parks Trail for three decades, but park visitors never stop asking about them, according to Allerton Park and Retreat Center Associate Director Derek Peterson. Getting them back took some proper timing, which occurred this fall. We had been in conversation with Cranert about them and it turns out they were going to pull them from display in the Kincaid Pavilion, and we're not sure what they would do with them, added Peterson. So our talks hit on a time when everyone was good with it. So we secured some funding from the Friends of Allerton and moved them back out there. The task was completed on September 27, 2016, and the statue now sits on a concrete pedestal once again waiting to surprise those using the trail. Peterson said there was no formal announcement in order to keep that element of surprise for the trail travelers. We knew there was significance for people, and we wanted them to discover it on their own, he said. The Fremier pieces, which date to 1885 for the bear and 1887 for the gorilla, have caused their share of controversy which included a group of artists accusing the works of being sexist and racist and calling for them to be melted down in 1989. We did not see the bear piece. Our primary interest was the gorilla. Gorilla carrying off a woman is just what it says, although the woman appears to be wearing nothing but a loincloth. For Peterson, that is what artwork should do, elicit emotions. That is what art is all about, creating feelings in people to create a conversation. And though they are not native artwork to Allerton, he does feel they are back where they belong. Now, the Saturday Evening Post article from 1919, where they were advertising the movie Ravished Armenia, also known as Auction of Souls, there are only a couple of libraries in the USA that still have what they call print or hard copy issues. All the rest are microfilms. So what happens during the microfilming, quality deteriorates. And they were foolish enough in that early period, thinking that, oh, well, this is great, we'll have a microphone. They chucked out the originals. So it, they're scarce as hen's teeth, even on the used market. Because, you know, Saturday Evening Post was one of the most widely read magazines in that period. 
But people chucked them out after they yeah. read them. Oh, they didn't fine. keep them. Fine magazine, yeah. yeah. So there's only a couple of libraries in America that have these things. University so there are only two left? There are only two. Iowa, Iowa is only one of them, mm -hmm. and the other one is University of Colorado. All the others are microfilm. <laughs> Natural history of it. Uh -huh.